TXT. I forgot. That's how you say it, right? But it's tomorrow and together, but you don't say TNT, you say TXT. Is that correct? I don't know. Uh, before this was BTS Funny Moments. Before that was Shiny. Your number. Black. And before that was also BTS Hold Me Tight. Live performance. Wa Yong Yon Wa. After this will be BTS Fifth Muster. Fifth mu- I don't know anything about it, really. I don't know. If you can see a pattern, I took the first couple of videos and alternated a BTS video after every one of them because I took kind of a break from BTS. And I wear with TXT. That's all that matters. Um, and I want to try to read this Hangul. Why not? Give my trusty cheat guide in case I need it. But I'm going to hold it here closed so you see that I'm not using it. Uh, two. Two mo. Two mo. Tomorrow, oh, so tomorrow, oh, to tomorrow, but e to Gadio. Yo, oh, I don't know that. Okay, I gotta cheat on the two lines. Yeah. Bio, bio. Two lines equals. I don't have two lines. The hell is that? I don't. I don't know how you say that. How do you say that? Anyone know? I don't have that on my sheet. You see it on there? I don't have that. Okay, this is what we call how you get everyone to turn off your video. Don't ask them to subscribe. They're not here. They left. Don't ask them to get a Patreon. They left. They're like, this guy's like attempting to read Korean. He doesn't know Korean and he's got a cheat sheet and he can't even find the damn characters on the sheet. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, since we're doing that, since I'm doing that, I should make a note on this page that I found a character that I couldn't, I didn't see on this list and I want to know what the hell that is. Uh, but the, you know, those of you guys that go to Patreon, that is dope shit. And now that I've wasted so much time, let's just go. cool uh very cool looks amazing and sorry it was throwing me for a loop i was listening to guitar playing that that might actually be one of the dudes in the group play and the reason why i say that is because the volume of one of the strings is fluctuating which i would not expect um it's thirds with a uh, bass note on the bottom i don't know what the chords are but you hear that probably you can probably hear that those things right thirds meh I actually was where I was I was not wearing that The moment in the video where the dude making the video wonders if he's going to go back and read the lyrics. 
No, no, we're not going all the way back, but I will click through this because I can click pretty damn fast like anyone else. You're far away, I'm hard as dancing, memory. Okay, we're talking about something that's gone, it was gone, and we're thinking about it, and there's a memory, and I want to be your nap. We had some dream forever together. Ooh, that could be death. You die together, you dream together forever. Careful with that. And uh, this is where we caught up, we're getting on a thing. It's afternoon sunset, dark and night sky. Okay, those, that's the passage of time relative to the shifting uh, horizon. And now we're looking in the mirror going like, mm, I've got some horns, but these aren't the coolest horns. Like, it's kind of weird just to have mediocre horns. I wish either had no horns at all or giant badass horns. Maybe they'll turn into badass horns. I don't know. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Love that chord change. Okay, for the record, I, I love this. I don't know how many videos like this in a row that I want to watch, but I a hundred bazillion million percent, which is like not even a real expression of percentages. I mean, it is, but it's like, whatever. This is awesome. The It's really playing out like a play or a, like an opera with the definitely the rapid changing key centers of the song and the quickly changing scenery is really reminiscent of a, of a opera or stage production. Uh, oratorio? No, Oratorio doesn't have... It's opera, an opera. If I remember, sorry, I was getting confused. I think, if, if I remember correctly, an Oratorio is like an opera, but without the costumes and the staging. Like, if everyone just stands there and sings their parts, and no one, like, leaves and does anything weird, that's, I think that's an Oratorio. But an opera has all the costumes and... Oh, well, you know. You know when you're coming up with something you think is clever and it turns out you're just a slow ass? Yeah, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. What else could that be other than a play or a book? And a book that you watch with your eyes is called a movie or a play. Dieta. Keep. Tell me to keep it together, bro. Tell me everything will be okay. Psh, psh, psh. Keep your shit together. Psh, psh. All right. <laughs> opera musical type of thing is the chords that we're hearing are fluctuating between minor slash possibly altered dominant slash diminished chords slash borrowed from Russian music. I don't know what you call it, like a Russian school of thought 
or slash random tone collections, which is what happens when you have a bunch of pitches and you don't know how to label them. You call them a tone collection, which always signifies, when you hear all that shit together, diminished, minor, weird tone collections, no pinpointable key center, always means mystery slash suspense slash magic. Always. Back up. Yeah, yeah, don't translate this for me, because my Korean is that good. Way. Um, that shit was, that was, uh, a little blown away. I don't know what the reception of that video is in general you know, overseas or anything. Well, obviously, I don't know what the reception of that video is to anyone because I've never seen it, I've never heard it, and thus I've not been able to watch anyone's reaction to it or anything like that. Um, what I would say, one, I'm blown away. Blown away by the video and and uh, really the attention to making like a little opera out of a five-minute video. I don't know if you would call it opera. I don't know the other word for music, musical drama. Um, but it make it does make me think of like if that video was with the the right not that I, I'm not saying I dislike the song but I'm saying if you had a hit gigantic song with that video it'd probably be video of the year I don't know what the reception of that that is I mean chances are I would still put it up for a video of the year nomination anyways but people are really fickle they uh, they watch with their ears they listen with their eyes. So when you have something that looks spectacular, if, it's, if it doesn't match what people expect to hear, you can often get a little downvote for that. As you've, does any of us know, that's the reason why classical musicians dress fancy. There's no, reason, there's no reason to wear a tux on stage. It doesn't make you play better. In fact, it can get in the way because you don't practice in tuxes. And it, I actually recommend to people, you know, when I have students who perform live, and then I do this to myself, is if you're going to have to wear a tux or something or a costume, you damn well, I would play in that, practice in that for like a day or two before the gig so you can get used to random things like your sleeves hitting strings or getting in your way or your buttons or something, you know, your buttons hitting the back of the guitar making a little tat 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 sound, you know, and you have to like, if you're not, if you don't practice in your garment, your wardrobe, uh, you get caught off guard. Anyways, that's just to say that people listen with their eyes. And they hear with their eyeballs. Same thing. I'm going to move on to BTS Fifth Mustard? Must Munster? Mun I don't even know what I'm going to. We're going to Dimple. Damn, that's all I do that TXT. Where the hell did that come from? 
I will say one of the biggest takeaways for the for those of us still here at the very end of the video. Um, one of my biggest overall mental takeaways from all this, I, I don't even want to just say K-pop because we've done a lot of Korean hip hop and chill music and stuff like that. Uh, for these 800 Korean songs we've done mentally is that I've always wanted to make music this way and my buckets of old school recordings and stuff are all different styles of music and I always was uh, I don't know if ridiculed is the right word to say but everyone's like pick a sound and stick with it which I just hated I got bored to death of playing one song even classical music dude I went to school for forever for classical stuff but uh, I don't want to sit around and play classical all day no more than I want to sit around and do rap all day um, and I really feel like all the Korean artists have made me feel like it's okay. Which I believed it, but I don't know how much I believed it before that. Like wit Witnessing y'all love them and me fall in love with them and the sheer amount of variety and expressiveness has, uh, well now, like anything you figure out, you're like, well, shit, I should've been on top of this forever ago. Dude, you've got hundreds of songs that are unfinished. Like, go finish them, bastards. Who cares what's different about them? Just go do it. Go do it. Shake it up. Um, in time, right? All right. Uh-oh. Feel sentimental me building. I don't think there's anything left in the list that's going to make me be sentimental. That's good. No cry songs for me. I'm going to fly away. This is me flying. I'm going to get a shot of whiskey. Then, we're going to do BTS Dimple. Yeah!